Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're headed right back to Elite Zoo South to pick things up where we left them off. As always, as we dive in, folks, I just want to mention that if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. I say it all the time, it makes a massive difference. It lets me know what y'all are interested in and it directly affects what I do more or less of. How I go about doing it, how often I do it, what I do when I'm doing it. So keep all that coming. Plus, on top of that, I do read through all the comments still. So if you have an idea, a thought, a feeling, an opinion, anything you'd like to share, throw that in the comments as well. Again, I do read them all. So it does make a big difference. Now, as we dive in, I just want to mention something very quickly. It is quite unfortunate, but that was the second time I recorded that introduction uh, because the first time I recorded it and began or started to begin my time lapse, um, my recording software crashed. So, <laughs> on the bright side, it means some of the initial management stuff that I was going to record for the beginning of this session has already been done, and uh, now I just have to kind of touch on what I did rather than have to re-execute it. My apologies for that. Unfortunately, of course, franchise mode, you know, saves every little thing every time you do it, so it's not like I can show you everything, but it's not a big deal. It was just some minor stuff that we'll touch on right now, and then we'll dive into our time lapse. We have a pretty hefty time lapse set up for today. Really excited for it. Hopefully we can get everything accomplished as I have planned, but uh, we all know how plans work, right? <laughs> we all know how plans work. So let's talk about the couple things that I did uh, that unfortunately are now a part of a recording that uh, doesn't exist. But uh, again, like I said, no big deal. It's just a bunch of minor stuff. I will have you caught up in no time. Well, first of all, actually, I want to touch on uh, a small conversation. And by small, I mean a massive conversation that was happening uh, in the uh, comment section of the previous episode. The exclusion of the cave in uh, in the Pride Rock structure over here was an intentional one. I'm totally aware that there is a cave. I remember the opening of the movie and everything. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I know there's a cave, and I know there's a, there's a lot of little details here and there. Uh, but the reason why I excluded it at first was because I thought, well, you know what? I don't want the lions spending all their time in the cave and being hidden and guests complaining about bad views and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's ignore that cave. And then that was my initial thinking. But then, you know, we built everything, we put the animals in, and they were saying they didn't have enough hard shelter. Now, the weird thing is now they're saying they do have enough hard shelter, but that's irrelevant because because when we have, you know, 10 lions, let's say, uh, in, the, uh, in the enclosure, eventually that hard shelter amount is going to start becoming insufficient. Uh, so after, you know, all that hemming and hawing and back and forth thing, I think I will add the cave in. Um, and, uh, and, and go for, I mean, we might even need to make this a little bit larger if I'm completely honest, but we're, we're going to see a couple of changes to the, uh, to the enclosure over here. Um, nothing major. It's not going to be like the Jaguars where, uh, if I'm not mistaken, actually, whoops, we have, oh, we got a sex ratio problem with the Baird's tape here. has got to, got to fix that. Got to fix that for sure. Oh my God. How long have we had that for? Um, but yes, this is, uh, this is something that, uh, that I missed last session and y'all pointed out in the comments so let's just quickly tackle this if i can just find where is the entrance there it is i could just find the animal list and if i could just get to our little babies over here oh guatemoc why are you so upset <gasps> i mean it's adorable to see them climb this social uh, it's got to be stress why are you stressed out it's one-way glass that's so weird that they're stressed out we'll keep an eye out for it we'll keep an eye out for it but let's go ahead and check traversable area Oh, I, I guess it hasn't uh, updated, or... What's going on here? It's not like you were born on this lattice. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back and, and take a look at them afterwards, then after the... Oh, wow, look at these stats, though. Cream fur with black rosettes. I guess I'd call that cream. <laughs> You're... Oh, Buddy's about to pounce. Buddy's about to pounce, aren't you? Look at that. Look at that. It's eyeing something. I don't want to miss that. Um, all right, let's, let's, let's look at it right now. I just want to see what... Getting completely distracted. I'm so sorry, but... Oh, okay. It's not a pounce as much as it's a climb. That's okay. Oh, that's cute too. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, stressing out. I don't know why. Um... I, yeah, you gotta... What? We might want to put down, like, some speakers or something, but... Uh, but really good stats over here on Guatemoc, so that's, that's fantastic. And we also have, uh, we also have another one. Two babies. I missed this last session. Uh, Guatemoc and Itzli, who's a lot happier on the other side over here. 
Go ahead and check you out, buddy. Um, genetics, yellow, orange fur with black rosettes. Also good good uh, genetics overall. Just immunity is a little low. Not the end of the world, though. But that's great. That should bring us a fair bit of money. I mean, that explains also the uh, the crowd we have uh, forming, it looks like, over here. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Distraction aside. What I was getting at is the work over here, the rework over here, isn't going to be as in-depth as our makeover of the Jaguar enclosure. But I might make this a little bit larger, have a proper cave set, set up. Uh, because again, once we have enough lions, some will be in the cave, some will be outside. Guests, I think, will be happy uh, one way or another. So, so again, conscious decision to exclude the cave, to exclude the cave. But in hindsight, makes sense to uh, to actually have one. So we're going to go ahead and make that adjustment. Not today. We'll do that next session, maybe. We'll do it soon, but not today. Let's let's put it that way. Another thing you missed apart from my prolonged conversation about making a cave that doesn't yet exist, is the renaming of our uh, West African lion uh, that used to be called Sel. We have changed her name. She is now Malkia, which is Swahili for queen, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so thank you very much for that suggestion. If I am pronouncing it incorrectly, do not hesitate to correct me. Uh, but Malkia is how I think it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, Swahili for queen. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And it does touch on... Uh, another sort of large conversation that was happening in the uh, in the comments. Uh, in terms of naming animals, folks, just uh, again to make my stance on it kind of crystal clear, I try to do it as little as possible. Uh, I try to keep with the names that we get from the game itself. Uh, I made another edit. Uh, Salehe ha or Salehi Salehi uh, had his stats up in the name. I got rid of that. Uh, but otherwise, I like to stick with the names that the game gives us because they are. Uh, they're like they're they're randomized. They're indigenous. There's a lot of reasons why I like that. We did break that rule a couple times way back when in the Litsu North, but I very quickly uh, personally regretted that decision. And uh, just to keep things simple, and also just on that note of like, I like the names that we get. I've gone ahead and I, I kind of like stick to that. I try not to rename animals unless we have to. For example, Buddy over here who came in with you know the like oh, Elon Musk's child's name. Uh, this kangaroo came through with so we had to we had to rename him now again Skippy was a popular suggestion that came through and uh, And then last sessions comments actually had a lot of revelations. So turns out Skippy is actually a different type of kangaroo uh, Not a red kangaroo, which is not the biggest deal because the idea is there right there. There's still kangaroos or whatever It's 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 all good. I'm fine with that, uh, but it was also pointed out that uh, Skippy is actually a female kangaroo, and uh, and we need a name for our male kangaroo. Uh, so that was a couple of things, but also I received, as you'll remember, I think from last session, uh, a different suggestion, which also kind of lines up with those indigenous name suggestions and things like that. Uh, so we've gone ahead and named our male kangaroo here, Yonga. And I did look it up a bit more. Yonga is the Noongar word for kangaroo. Noongar being the indigenous people of, uh, I believe it was the I believe it was Southwest Australia. Now, the actual sentence I read during my research was the Southwest corner of Western Australia. And I was just like, don't you just mean, would you just mean Southwest Australia? But be that as it may, Yonga, I think it's nice. I do think it's a powerful name as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, Skippy is adorable and I love it for so many reasons. Uh, but I also love Yonga for so many reasons. And uh, and I decided, and, and based on your comments as well last session, uh, I think Yonga became the uh, became the outright winner there. Um, apart from that, we do also have, just as a reminder for anybody that somehow forgot, we've got our little baby over here who's just, I don't know, eating the ground right now. I guess I guess kangaroo kids like to eat the dirt. Whatever brings you joy, buddy. Whatever brings you joy. Uh, anyway, done over there. Oh, right, right. The other thing. Sorry, it's, so, it's a little uh, confusing for me because I've done all the work. I just now have to remember what I did so I can recount it. Um... So, rename those animals, rename over here, uh, and I also actually now have, uh, well, a couple of things going on. Uh, under vet research, I have uh, Brandy Lee assigned to the West African Lion, Lucy Meg and Michelle Weedman, alongside some of our other staff members are also uh, being upgraded right now. I went through and got a bunch of staff members being upgraded. And beyond that, I also have a new work zone, the Australia work zone, which uh, for some reason didn't include this when it saved, weird. Um, the Australia work zone, decent bit of coverage over here. I know the center is technically also Australia, but this is more, uh, we're just separating it for the purpose of, of organization. That's so weird. I'd selected all of these things. 
Planet Zoo crashed once as well, so I wonder, I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of weird stuff going on today. Uh, but nonetheless, so this is Australia uh, as the work zone. Let's go ahead and get the center work zone to include these African sections as well for now. Uh, I think it'll help keep things organized. And I don't know why these things keep getting deselected down over here, but let's go ahead and select you. Uh, so that should be good. We also got a bunch of new employees who are working uh, the Australia. As you can see, we've got uh, that's, uh, well, it's all security and vendors and stuff. Can I not see? There we go. We've got uh, a mechanic. We've got two uh, caretakers and two keepers working the Australia work zone. So that should be uh, enough for now. And eventually we'll hire more as the zone uh, expands as well. Because again, don't forget center is being kept separate to, uh, to Australia. And eventually we'll have an Africa work zone as well. But until we do that, we'll just make it a part of center. I believe that touches on everything that needs touching on. Uh, I believe... Talked about research, talked about... Uh, staff being upgraded, talked about the renaming, talked about the uh, work zone. Yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> Again, sorry folks for that kind of haphazard nature of that first half of this, uh, or that first portion of this session. It's just because of uh, the crashing and whatnot. It's quite unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. We can move on from that, and I think it's time to move on and in to our time lapse. Um, lots to get done. Lighting, hopefully, well, lighting and wayfinding, I'm gonna try and get done for sure. Uh, I wanna get the sponsor boards done for sure as well. The first thing I want to tackle though is gonna be the negative impact zone up over there. Uh, and so we're gonna start at night and then we're gonna flip to daytime afterwards so that uh, you know we can actually see what we're working on when we're doing the, uh, the sponsor boards and stuff like that. All right, folks, that's enough of me rambling. Let's dive on in. It's time lapse time. All right, folks, I hope you're ready for a very, very extensive time lapse uh, where we get a lot done. I'm not being sarcastic. I realize in hindsight, that sounded like I was being sarcastic. I'm very serious. We got a lot done this uh, this session. I'm super happy with it. Um, it's all beautification, sponsor board, all that kind of stuff. But uh, it's stuff that a lot of it is stuff that we've been kind of like holding off on for so very long. And then some things that well, just became fresh problems at the end of the last session. So uh, I'm very happy with the overall kind of uh, accomplishments today, and I hope you all are as well. So first order of business is to actually take care of the negative impact zone of all of these staff buildings and things like that. Now, I, I spoke last session about how if we needed to, we could lower things and it would be fine, but that's really a last resort for me. I didn't want to do that. Uh, I didn't want to deal with the hassle of all the, uh, you know, path reworking and all that stuff so i was really hoping that getting the lighting in getting some more uh, uh coverage and stuff in and all would help and i actually got an excellent tip in the comments of the last session as well that using ambient speakers helps um reduce the negative impact radius and it helped massively i just had to put a couple of those down um down this main hallway over here I put a couple down above the generators as well uh, the generator and the uh, the water filtration system and we're good now, the water filtration system and the generator needed a bit more work, actually. We, 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 I said we're good, like we were done. We're not done. We're done with all the uh, staff stuff, uh, but the uh, these guys need a little bit more covering to, uh, I, I guess, isolate the sound a little bit more, or whatever you want to call it, uh, having to get the, uh, the top in over here as well. But once we did that, nice and easy, problem solved. So, as I had suspected last session, very quick fix. Very glad we went in and did that before we hit play, though. I did want to you know, get a bunch of upset guests or anything like that. Now, the next order of business is another thing we've been holding off for a very long time, and that is the uh, the uh, wayfinding system. And uh, now again, those of you that watched Elite Zoo North are already familiar with the idea over here. Uh, the idea being that every region is color coded, and based on that color coding, there are you know markers on the ground that you can follow, um, and uh, and it'll take you to you know, wherever you're looking for. And we'll have signage up as well that associate the colors with the names of the, of the spaces and whatnot. Uh, I, I, was, uh, I was struggling a little bit with exactly how I wanted this stuff to be laid out. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be at the edge, if I wanted it to be in the center. I kind of like the curves rather than the hard 90 degree angles. Uh, so right now I've gone with like, it's a little off center, but that's because I'm going to have multiples obviously for like, um, this one's for South America. We're going to have Africa. We're going to have Australia. So uh, it's a little off-center, but I think it'll be it'll feel fine once everything's in place. Um, 
But yeah, it's, it's a very arduous process for sure, but I really like the end result as well. You'll see every once in a while I kind of zoom back out and do a little like slow kind of top-down panning shot to get a feel for how it looks. I really like the, uh, the, the implications of it. And again, it, there's no real in-game mechanics uh, benefit, I suppose. I, I guess guests think it looks nice. Uh, so there is that, but that's not really the driving force. The driving force to me is uh, I like wayfinding systems. I find them to be interesting. I find them an interesting uh, area of study, and I find them an interesting area of design as well. So it's, you know, very, very personally driven there, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I really like the shape that this is taking, and I am, I'm pretty happy that we didn't go to the edge like I'd initially started with uh, Adelitsu North. Uh, but we'll see we'll we'll see how long I can stick with this. E even here right now, like what I'm basically, the approach I'm basically taking is um, <laughs> it's almost like a racing line. It's not a racing line because this is definitely not the ideal way to take this turn. If, you know, you've watched any Formula One or anything, you'd be like, this ain't right. Um, but, uh, but it's almost like a racing line. And I felt like at some point, I forget when it was, but I felt like a meandering path would be nice. Not meandering in the sense of inefficiency, but like, you know, it's always still going in the right direction. We're not like just, you know, going, we're not going left and right just randomly. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's in the center, sometimes it's along the edge. I felt like that might be a little fun and I, I guess whimsical is the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, just fiddling with this a little bit. You'll see me fiddle with it actually quite a bit because I wanted to get the shape right, the height right, all that kind of stuff. Um, trying to make it connect nicely. Uh, I, uh, yeah, very arduous. <laughs> very arduous. I also noticed though during this process that I didn't actually have any colors picked out. For Australia or Africa, so I got to do that before I um, uh, before I implement those. Uh, so I'm open. I'm open to suggestions right now. We we had this like really nice vibrant blue for uh, South America because of the uh, little butterflies as well. But I need something for uh, for Africa and I need something for uh, Australia. And I'm not sure what to go with in terms of the ideal color to represent, you know, entire continents. Um, with South America, we had the uh, the benefit of having already kind of made that decision because of those beautiful butterflies, right? Uh, but here you can see I also made a little addition. We did not have this at Elitsu North. I decided to add this to uh, uh, to our, our system over here because it seemed to make sense to me. Uh, but these are, you know, little arrowheads, I suppose you could call them. That panning is way too fast to be able to see them. But you can see them from up on high. Uh, but think of them as little, like, arrowheads. So, well, basically it occurred to me that what happens if you're at the end or if you're in the middle of this wayfinding system, how do you know which way to go, right? At an intersection, how do you know which way to go? Well, you look for the closest arrow. There'll be other signage as well, like I mentioned, but if, you, if, you're, if you're gonna stick with just this one system, because in my humble belief, in my humble opinion, I suppose, uh, it should be able to work in isolation, right? Otherwise, why does it exist? Uh, if it doesn't work in isolation, then, then, then why does it exist? Uh, so, little arrowheads will tell you, you look a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. You look a little bit, like, you look a little bit in either direction of the intersection. You can see which ways the arrowheads are pointing. And then based on that, you can go, alright, that's how I get there, or that's how I get away from there. I hope, I, I hope I explained that clearly. <laughs> uh, I hope I explained that clearly. But I thought those arrowheads were necessary, and I'm glad that I was able to pull them off like I had in mind. I might want to add more of them. I'm currently pleased with their, like, their, uh, like, how, how separated they are. I don't think I need them too often, because if you put them in too often, then it just looks messy. So I'm pretty happy with how, uh, how they're, how they're spread out right now. Uh, also, I wanted to add this at the end over here. This has been, uh, requested repeatedly of the, uh, the, the pathing kind of, like, bursting into butterflies. I wish, this is another one of those chances, another one of those times, sorry, that I wish you could adjust the size of these things. How great would it be if it was, like, you know, 30 or 40 tiny butterfly uh, lights as opposed to a handful of really big ones. With that said, I still like how it looks. And I hope you guys do as well. But uh, but I, I have so many more ways that I would like to execute that. But I am limited by the uh, technology of my time, I suppose. Um, though, I'm not going to lie, I have been tempted to pop open Blender and make my own models and, uh, and, and go that far. But I... <laughs> Hmm, that's a risky conversation to even begin to have with myself even. Anyway, moving on from that, now that that's done and I don't have colors picked for the other zones, I wanted to get to those sponsor boards. Now again, last week, last week, last month, we didn't get around to implementing them, but I, you know, I still have all the notes, of course, so 
bit of a backlog, but we're able to go through that backlog now and get everybody implemented. And hopefully, I'm pretty sure I've got everybody's names in here. But if I've missed you somehow, if I missed your message somehow, please let me know and reach out. And if I butcher these pronunciations, I apologize. Correct me in the comments. But first up, we have for the llamas, Lisa Magnuson. So our first sponsor board in over here, a nice combination of the new Australia text um, panel and our uh, our Aztec text panel as well. I really like how that looks. Very on theme, on brand. Uh, next up, we have Raphael Lalonde, uh, also sponsoring the llamas. Of course, we're doing the llamas all first. Uh, next up, we have Cold Brew Barbie, also one of our uh, our vendors specifically for coffee. With, what with a name like that, right? You can't can't resist that. We've got Dayluck up over here as well, and then finally, well, actually, Dayluck was the finally. I, I I miscounted again looking at my notes. I thought we had another sponsor, which is why I had the split I had earlier, but but I've adjusted that. So there you have it: Lisa Magnuson, Raphael Lalonde, Cold Brew Barbie, and Dayluck on the llamas. Now we're moving on to our Baird's Tapir specifically, but of course it's a joint enclosure, so I hope you don't mind. Uh, but over here again, I wanted to touch on the aesthetic. I wanted to use, you know, some of the, the elements that we have, and I thought it'd be really nice to bring in the gold from our little sun sculpture down over here into this little uh, viewing platform. So over here we have Vera Beast gold and black, I think works really nicely together. Well, it's not black technically, it's super dark gray, but you know, for all intents and purposes, it's black. Adding a few more decorative elements because I feel like it needed a bit more dimensionality to it. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So Vera Beast sponsoring our tapirs. Uh, and by extension, our giant anteaters as well. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> and over here for the uh, Jaguars, we've got a handful of sponsors as well to add in. I thought it'd be super cool to, uh, much like we did with the, uh, the macaque in Elite Zoo North, I thought it'd be super cool to have the climbing platform be integrated with the sponsor boards over here as well and see you know if we can get any results out of that so we've got uh zeturion in as our first sponsor for the uh, leopards and our second sponsor for the leopards lexi casper both those side by side now if, if again if we get you know, if we get the baby leopards up top of these or even below these like how great would that be right so i thought this was a nice integration over here as well again fitting that aesthetic trying to get the colors right and stuff uh, and of course, black text because you know gotta gotta try and match those black spots, right? Uh, and then we've got our next sponsor, John Walker, and our final sponsor, Zane Dickens. Final for the uh, the leopards, that is. So there you have it. We've got Zeturion, Lexi Casper, John Walker, and Zane Dickens as our sponsors for the Jaguars, uh, keeping them you know well groomed, well fed, and all that uh, beautifulness across the board. Uh, next up, we have this one's uh, for the for the crocodiles. We've got a uh, a different take on on providing a sponsor name, and I'm totally down for this stuff. By the way, I just thought I think it's a good opportunity to mention this stuff's fine by me as long as it stays at like a reasonable length and stuff like that. Uh, a bit of a challenge actually to come up with an idea over here because we've just unlocked the Australian pieces, but I am quite pleased with what we end up with over here. Some really beautiful pieces in the Australia pack. Uh, also trying to build a, you know, faux concentric circle or, yeah, I guess concentric circle. Again, trying to tie into the bigger Australia conversation we had previously. Uh, but the sponsor name over here is <laughs> John's Crocodinosaurs. So John's Crocodinosaurs, I suppose we could say in universe, it's a, it's a brand that uh, <laughs> is, is sponsoring the, uh, the, uh, the Crocs, if that works. But I, I, I do like it. I do like it. And then finally, back to Elite Zoo North. To get Seb L in here for our Arctic Wolves. Um, because, yes, of course, you can still get animals from Elitsu North. But that's all for the time lapse now, folks. Back to real time. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. Maybe a little disorienting going back and forth between the zoos at the end there. Let me know what you think about that. But I, of course, wanted to get all the sponsor boards in as many as I could, at least, I believe. I've got them all covered, at least the ones for the animals that we currently have at the zoo. I've already got requests for animals that aren't yet at the zoo but are coming soon. Perfectly cool to do. Uh, but if I do forget, please don't hesitate to remind me. I've got them noted down, but, you know, stuff happens all the time. Uh, and if I've somehow, by some strange coincidence or accident or whatever it might be, if I've somehow forgotten 
to uh, put your name in uh, on the sponsor boards, uh, then please give me a little give me a little poke either in the comments if you're a member or shoot me a private message on Patreon if you're a patron. I uh, want to make sure everyone's been accounted for. Pretty sure I got everybody in. Uh, and I believe during the time lapse, if I pace myself correctly, I've been able to give my thanks and shouts to everybody whose names went in so that after the time lapse, which is now, we can just dive into uh, all the management work that needs to be done as well, because there is quite a lot. This is a packed episode. This is a packed episode. By the way, I just wanted to point out that we teleported back in uh, to, uh, to the perfect time here. This is actually, I mean, wow, right? It's still working. There's a little something over here that's sticking out. Oh, you know what? It's probably this little vine over here, isn't it? Is it you, buddy? No, it's not you. What could that be? What could that be? What is casting this shadow here? The slightest bump. Oh, you know what? Someone's probably lifting their hand or something. That must be it. That must be it. So yeah, this, I mean, still works. It's been suggested, though, that it should be something maybe a little different. Um, I, don't, I don't disagree entirely. We could put a golden llama down over here. Oh man, put a golden llama on like a pair of... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. It, the, my only issue with that is that it gets rid of the um, the circle. That's why I don't want it to be anything too tall. But yeah, it's still working despite the additions and all, which is uh, good to good to see that it all it all kind of you know works despite our our new additions and the trees in the back and stuff as well. So uh, wanted to check that out. So that that's that's definitely very good to see. Anyway, uh, let's let's get back on task over here. Before I unpause, I want to do. Well, there's stuff to do over here still. We want to make sure that when people arrive to check out the Africa section, well, the beginnings of the Africa section, I should say, uh, they are, um, well, arriving with full hands and maybe leaving empty-handed. Let's put it that way. Where are my donation bins? There we go. Uh, donation boxes, I guess they're called. I feel like they're, uh, I don't know, the, the, the shape makes me want to call them bins always. Uh, let's get the color scheme right over here. I feel like, I feel like lion... You know, sandy yellow is the way to go here. If we can, if we can nail that color, I'd be very happy. Ah, uh, no, this is a little too. There we go. Got to go a little bit more orange-ish, I think. We are. I feel like that's. I feel like that's. That's close. I feel like that's close. Now let's go ahead and get you in there as well. I want to try and get like layers. Right? I want to get like the the slightest color variation. There we go. That feels good to me, at least. Hopefully. Hopefully y'all agree as well. I mean, it needs to be maybe a little bit more brownish, actually, now that I look at things with a broader perspective. There we go. That looks... Yes, there we go. That's much better, I think. Get this, like, just a little two-tone, you know, just just slightly two-tone there. I actually really like that a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was mainly kind of, like, half goofing off with being picky with the colors there, being so picky, but I, I, I actually really like that. Uh, so I'm glad I I'm glad I did that. All right, cool. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get a couple of you and one over here. Let's get you over here. Uh, da, da, da. I'm over here, perhaps. The one over. Go ahead and put you up over here. Put you up over here. No one's gonna come all the way back here at the beginning of this, but just getting all of our bases covered in case someone decides to get any funny ideas. I guess. Do all that and put another one down over here as well. This is where most of the viewing is going to happen from, I suspect, so uh, I want to have this covered fully. Um, that's donation bins, but that's obviously not enough. We also got to get uh, trash cans. Sorry, I guess... Uh, what does the game call them, actually? Bin, just bin, okay. Trash cans, dust bins, garbage bins, garbage cans. Wondering what word I would gravitate towards. I'm not sure right now, actually. Uh, let's stick with the New World bin, the Africa bin. You see, like, this is what I mean. Like, I don't know, this doesn't feel, like, it feels so wrong, doesn't it? Is it just me? Is it just me? Am I being too particular? Like, this does not look like a trash can. This is adorable, though, I will say. That's so cute. It's a little giraffe with little legs. Oh my god, that's super cute. But it just doesn't look like a trash can. Um, I like the, uh, the Australia ones. You know, it looks like a trash can with the, it's got the shape and stuff. Not overdone. I was uh, sorry. I'm 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 harkening back to something I mentioned last session, just because it's so for me. It's such a big it's a big thing. Um, with uh, with like this kind of like modular design. I, I, and again, kudos to the devs because ninety like ninety five percent of the pieces, um, you can slot in pretty freely, uh, wherever you need to, uh, which is 
a ridiculously impressive feat. Um, but uh, but yeah, then every so every every so often it's just like, why are there no bins? Why are there no Indian bins or South American bins that just look, you know, bins? <laughs> it's not like walking down the street in uh, uh, in in uh, I don't know in China, all the bins look like that, right? Anyway, sorry, <laughs> I digress. So that's trash cans done again. I don't think people are gonna go around that that way, so no need to to put money down for that yet. Donations, trash, benches. Let's go ahead and get some benches down as well. I bet the African benches are... Hmm... I don't... I mean, I don't mind this so much. This is quite neat. These are nice as well. These are also actually quite pretty. Here, we can get a couple of these down. Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's see if I can't get this right over here. God. Try and let's see. Try and get it right. Looks about right. Uh, and then we can go ahead and drop a couple more down. I think one over here. Let's move this bin up a little bit. Go. Oh. And one over here. Is that about right? No, I'm missing. Down over here. I'm gonna have to like make this symmetrical. A lot of the uh, the placements have been off. Well, actually, this is partly because of the uh, the gate there, so it doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's just I, I typically tend towards that. Uh, but if we're gonna go asymm asymmetrical, then I need to. You gotta go hard on the asymmetry if you're gonna go asymmetrical because otherwise it feels like a mistake. There's a there's a fine balance between something looking like a mistake and something looking intentional. Um, and striking that balance is gonna be very important with this one. Down there. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. 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 There we go. That feels pretty good. Cool. We got benches. We got uh, donation bins. We got trash cans. We need to get some security up in here. Because I realized actually while I was hiring the security guard and stuff that I don't have much security going on over here. So if we take a look at security and crime, just show cameras and guards. I would like to get one up over here. Nice and Kind of simple, out of the way, nothing too uh, problematic or anything. There we go. Nice and easy. Well, it's right by the entrance. Gonna want to add a couple more, obviously. Just trying to figure out how I want to implement them. I might just have to go with the towers. Might just have to go with the towers. And we might, like, camouflage them later, you know? When I when I do another like beauty pass or something, find a way to tuck them in. See if I can't line you up there, because eventually this whole space is going to be pretty uh, busy. Like there's going to be stuff going on, but until then, I'm going to keep these uh, these pieces in. There we go. No power back over here either. Fine, we'll get you later. And again, I, I, again, I don't suspect guests will be coming here all that soon. We should be fine. Yeah, and over here, a bit of a blind spot over there. What's the worst that could happen, right? Famous last words, I know, but what's the worst that could happen? Pop you down over here. It's about where the uh, power cuts off, I think. All right, so that's that taken care of. We got some security. I should probably put some security down over here as well, actually got some we haven't had any issues yet we can leave it for now we'll we'll keep an eye out for it we'll keep an eye out for it all right i believe that's everything we need up over here i believe we're good to hit play i took care of the negative impact as well by the way hot tip if i hadn't mentioned it this was mentioned in the comments so thank you very much but putting down some speakers for that ambience will uh really greatly help reduce impact uh so that's uh, that's helped tremendously over here and you can see the impact radius is no longer along the paths. So that's uh, one problem solved at the very least. Let's see how many more crop up when we hit play. I think we're gonna hit play. I'll make the adjustments to uh, to Pride Rock, name of the, uh, the, the, the construct, I think next time. What's going on over here? Did Buddy make his way out? Why are you zooming in over here, weird? We move you back to where you're supposed to be. 
and we also take care of there was fighting going on over here was there not if i recall correctly there was fighting going on over here trade center <laughs> escaped yeah i think uh, C uh citalic citalic needs to be sent to the trade center um, because mum right now still has the better gene. So over to the trade center with you. Our escaped animal is going to be brought back. That'll be good. Uh, and that solves that. And actually, before we do hit play, I'll just, uh, I want to go ahead and get the, uh, the name in here because they do have a name suggestion that I really like, uh, that I really want to implement. So I figure why not, um, but first, this ain't right. Are we, there we go. Let's go ahead and... Ever so slightly. I love how the most important button is hidden. I, I'm going to stop complaining about that. I do it every time. Oh my god, I, can't, I didn't even click the right one. Oh, I got to I gotta like nudge all these over. Come on. You can like middle click as well, but I never, when I want to, oh, I never get the middle click right like that time. That nudge you in a little bit. That'll allow me to nudge this over a little bit. And I think that's a bit more centered. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Oh my god, that's a lot better. It was bothering me. It was bothering me a lot. I don't normally do that, but that was bothering me a lot. Uh, okay, so we've got that sorted out. Right, I was going to get a name down. Um, I figured we could put the name... You know what, actually? I'm going to I'm gonna wait until, until uh, we do another pass on this. Because I, I like to try and integrate names as... I think y'all have seen by now. I like to try and get names in, you know, fitting the uh, the enclosure, making it a bit more of a... Uh... Do we not have Pachamama's Garden written up anywhere either? We don't actually. All right, I got to do a whole like naming run. But yeah, you can see how I like to try and integrate names into the, the enclosure's decorative elements and whatnot. So we're going to we're gonna get to that soon. There's actually quite a few names that I haven't put in yet. Quite a few names that we haven't put in yet, so that's definitely going to be a thing. All right, let's go ahead and hit play for now. Let's go ahead and see how the uh, lions are received, and let's go ahead and see how much of an impact they have on our finances, positive or negative. Going to be interesting. Let's uh, unpause. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really hoping that uh, we draw in some massive crowds. Animal stress and stuff is dropping, hopefully. I know we were having some stress issues, and I, I sincerely hope that gets solved. We have some stress issues over here. No, not anymore. Why are, we, why are we zooming in over here? What's going on? There you are, buddy. Unbox all animals here. Cool, cool, cool. Boxed outside for too long. Well, you're being moved, so hopefully that happens. You're stressed out. Why are you stressed out? It's a, it's a one-way view. I mean, you know what we could do? What we could try and do for these little cuties over here. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All little tippy taps. Oh my god, they're so... Into the water. <laughs> this cat does not look comfortable. Like, struggling to stay <laughs> above water here. It's like, nope, 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 nope. Let's get out of here. Yep, dry land. Sounds good to me. Are you gonna shake? Are you gonna shake? Do a little shake. Come on. Come on. Yes. Do it. Do it. No. I was really hoping for like the, you know, when like an animal's wet, they do that shake to get the water off. I mean, they're having fun, that's for sure. Actually, as you go up over here, that reminds me, I should bring the food tray down. It's been pointed out like, why would I put the food up top? Uh, I should put the food down over here, where not only will now guests be able to get a good view of the animals eating, but also I think the uh, keepers will be able to get across more easily now that there's not a food tray blocking their way. Um... That was something else I was going to do down here. I came here for a more important reason than just looking at some cuties. Uh, is there ever a more important reason to do anything? Education speakers are overlapping. When did that happen? Okay, we can drop you down to 12 and drop you down to 7, I guess. Don't see an overlap, to be perfectly honest. But apparently it was a thing. Guests are coming through, okay. Oh man, why was I coming back to the leopards? Stress, moving stuff around. I really wow. I'm completely blanking over here. I think it, I think it was the stress, and it looks like stress has been taken care of, care, taken care of. Even even with the uh, the um, 
Even with the tape here. What's this? Why can't this be reached now? Neither of these can be reached. Interesting. Has it changed how keepers are able to walk between paths and stuff? Let's see if we can't fix this little bridge of ours, our little makeshift bridge over here. This is a new problem. Really not one I expect to see. I hope that solves that. Come on now. That's got to be reachable. Gonna move some of these further in, maybe? Oh, you know what? You know what? It's because of this. They're not able to go around this way anymore. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. If that's the case, if that's the case, then we can obviously do this, where we bring you over to this side as well. That, and then we can go ahead and get... You duplicate it as well. Up and over. There we go. Question is, can the animals still reach into the water? They can indeed. Okay, good. Now this isn't connected. Looks like our keepers can get where they need to get to, but the animals cannot traverse this. So let's go ahead and adjust the train a little bit over here. And just a little bit of low intensity adjustment is all we need. See that jump? <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, my adjusting over here is going to um, box them up if they're too close. Almost. There it is. Beautiful. I want to make sure they have the, the bridge, right? That jump was hilarious. I'm so glad we saw that in like that high contrast gray and blue view. Yeah, there we go. Use that bridge. Beautiful. No red alerts. That's wonderful. 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 On over to our lions. People are walking all the way around. Of course they are. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Yeah, I was just chilling back over here. Good stuff. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I'm so glad I put donation bins down. Oh no, you know what I forgot? Education boards. Oh my god, I've been playing this game for how long and I forgot education. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks. It's been a long day. It's been a long... I've said this a couple times now. It has... It's been a long... month. <laughs> a long year, but but in all seriousness, um, August was a uh, was a wild one. And you, as you can see, I'm still paying the, uh, the, the heavy fare for that. All right, let's fix that mistake. Wow. Oh, you know, I remember now as well what I was going to do for the Jaguars is I was going to put down uh, some speakers, like ambient speakers, in case that would like help their stress. But I guess, uh, I guess they've been de-stressed already. So, <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. I can't believe I forgot education boards. That's, that's, that's something special. That really is something special. Um, all right, let's go ahead and nudge you over just a little bit. Oh, duplicate you guys. What am I thinking? Over to the corner? Yeah, that sounds like a good spot. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate like this, actually. Here. Keep things kind of in a bit more of an organized... Poof. Yeah, that's easy to read. There we go. <laughs> Let's get these guys over to this side as well. Honestly, if it wasn't such a pain to rebuild the pathing, I might have uh, I might have redone it in a in a way that would allow me to um like I, I might I might have like deleted some of it so that I could stop people from going where I don't need them to go right now. Can I nudge you forward? Oh come on, just up to there. Okay, I'll take that. Oh sir. Plus the one it was before, right? So I'll take that. Oh, done. I mean, that's all well and good, but yeah, guests are going all the way around, aren't they? Got donation bins. Fine, let's go ahead and get those trash cans in. So you know what's going to happen. People are going to litter. I'm going to get upset. The usual. What do we got here? Donation? Yeah, I see what's going on. Ugh. Ah, oh, this ain't right. You, okay, I'm gonna risk it for a bit. What's the worst that could happen? I want to reorganize the outer ring, but I also want to see the lines in action. Yeah, I, I, I gotta balance that out. I want to see the lines in action as well. I also gotta see how far does power reach all the way up to there. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Go ahead and rotate you over here. I feel like this is the right spot for. 
It's a bit of a blank spot, actually. What we can do is we can go ahead and put you down over here. Put your volume a little bit higher. Right, so we cover everything. No overlap. Oh, a little bit of an overlap. I don't think that's going to affect our guests, but just in case, let's go ahead and do that. And then we can also duplicate just the uh, the board. Because people can still hear. And we'll just get the board over to, like, here. Reduce the gap between education points, right? There we go. And then do something like that for the other side as well. Still can't believe I uh, forgot education. Pretty, it's pretty good. Pretty priceless. That's pretty priceless. Pop you here. Come on. There we go. That should be good coverage. Because we've got all these guys covered, I could put another down over there. At least we'll get a little bit more coverage. A little bit more mileage before we have to put down like a solar panel or something, which is probably what I'm doing next, by the way, is a is a solar panel. Um, just because we don't need we don't need like we'll eventually need a massive generator, but at this point we can start using solar panels. I feel like that's a a reasonable and uh, and smarter move because then we save some money on electricity costs as well. And you know what they say. A penny saved is a penny earned. And I... Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Let's drop your size. Let's drop your size as well. No overlap. Beautiful. Let's increase your size. Well, let's drop your size. Increase your size. This is the most, like, finagling I've done with, uh, with this stuff. Ever. That overlap won't be a problem. It's too high up for our guests. I don't think anybody's that tall. Uh, so we should be good. A, little, a couple of blind spots here and there, but like you're not going to get 100% coverage anyway. Uh, so I'm okay with that. Get all of you selected. Copy you over. Something like that. See if we can. make our life a little bit easier. I say as I decidedly make my life not any easier. Pop you down like this. Alright, let's see. Gotta drop your levels a little bit. Gotta increase your levels a little bit. There we go. You are just outside of power, aren't you? You are indeed. Well, let's see. If I pull you... Oops. If I... Pull you up and in. We should be good. There we go. Anything with you, buddy? I know. A little bit of an adjustment there. We're okay. Push buddy in too. There we go. Cool. Cool. Where's education coverage? That's pretty solid. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Alright. Anybody back there can learn later. You've gone too far. I, like, again, because I want to organize it. I want to spend the time to do it properly. I want to do it right. I want to just, like, rush, put things down. We've seen what happens when that when we do that, when we take that approach. Animal is stressed. Okay, these guys are still stressing out. So, fine. Let's go ahead and go go ahead and, and, and put some, uh, some audio experiential stuff down, I think. Uh, habitat, I suppose? No, it would be under facilities, right? I don't know if it actually helps the animals. It's a theory that has been posed often, uh, but I don't know if it actually helps the animals. So let's go ahead and get, uh, like, what, like, jungles at night, kind of a birds of the jungle, frogs of the jungle. Jungle at night. I feel like that's nice. I feel like something like jungle rain. If I was an animal and I heard the sounds of rain but didn't see rain anywhere, I would be very stressed out. I'd be like, what's going on? This ain't right. right? You know what I mean? So I want to keep an eye on that. Oh my god, we got a full-grown jaguar up over here. I did not expect them to climb these thin ones. I thought the babies would, but not the full-grown adults. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh my god, that's... You know what? That makes me very happy. I'm very, I'm very pleased with this. I'm very pleased with this. 
feel like I feel like we have our thumbnail here. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we have our thumbnail here. Look at that. Look at that. That's quite that's 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 wow. I don't know I'm I don't know if I'm done looking at that. That's pretty um Well, I guess I am done looking at that. Glad we spent the time, though. Glad we spent the time. That was, I don't know, that 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 uh, that hit home. I like that. That was nice. It's always nice to see enclosures getting used. On which note, what's the deal down over here? How are our adorable little kangaroos doing? Doing okay? I said, doing okay? I said, doing okay? <gasps> We're about to flip off. Come on. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Was that a, was that like a victory, like... Jab in the air? I mean, I wouldn't say you scored a goal. If you, like, put it through these two, I'd say you might have scored a goal. But, I mean, hey, you do you. That's, uh, that's... I don't know what that was. That was pretty cute, though. Whatever it was. All right, guests coming through up over here. Oh, yeah, look at the crowds. Of course, they're lions. Beautiful. And they are... Lion. Around. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. here I thought you were gonna get up. Instead, you just got even more down. Jeez, beautiful. Well, I, but actually though, beautiful. Look at those ear flaps. Look at those ear wiggles. Even even the king of the jungle over here. What a cutie. King of the jungle. Always thought that uh, title was an interesting one for for lions. Oh man, lions are great. Lions are great. Lions are great. I want to see, I want to, I mean, hopefully they'll be awake at some point. And we'll, we'll get to see them in action. More babies en route. I do need to actually take a look at exhibit trading before, um, before we get alerts. I've been, I've been letting alerts pop up a little too often lately. Go ahead and keep a couple of you in here. We also the trade center. Anything over here with our roaches. Oh, we're fine with the roaches, right? We did them recently. Hello, balloon. Nice. <laughs> uh, so that's all that. Let's go ahead and take- Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Can't miss this. I'll have to have Offspring over here. I want to see the animation again. Come on now. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Is that not the cutest? That is such an adorable animation, a little head shake. Oh my god. I'm so glad they have their special animations. Decent jeans over here, decent jeans. Not the greatest longevity, but alright. I'll take it, I'll take it. That's pretty good. That was, uh, that was really nice. That was really nice. Uh, where were we? Right. Responsibilities, that's where we were. Responsibilities. Oh my god, Titan Beater. They, they work fast, don't they? Go over here as well. Lots of red-eyed tree frogs. Male, female pair. Done. Can't forget our lovely green iguanas. Go ahead and take you away. And over here, of course, our anaconda condo. Pregnancy, but no, uh, no babies. All right, cool. That's good. Definitely just something worth doing. I'm not going to sell them right now because I want to keep an eye on our our cash flow. Uh, looking pretty good, though. We were at 89, I think, when we unpaused. We're at 120 right now. That's pretty quick. And it looks like money is... Oh, wow. Flowing. That's really nice. 2k in the central point. Ah, oh, this is good. Yes, yeah, the guests are no longer really going around all that much. Good, good, good. Maybe they were moving around looking for education. Well, okay, that's good. Guests are coming up. It's not super congested or anything. Excellent. Guests are still enjoying the view of the crocs and stuff, too. I mean, I, I feel like we've given the Crocs a pretty glorious spot over here. I think so, at least. How are the donations looking around these parts, though? Still amazing. It's only May. That's great. That's great. And actually, hold on a second. I do want to... I keep forgetting to do this, but this is something I've been meaning to do for the longest time as well. And uh, I keep getting reminded as well, so... It's good that I am reminded. Because now, we can actually get all of these guys. Oh my god, did everybody just drop their balloons because I'm moving trees around? How does that make any sense? Move all of you over to here. 
Oh, in comes the rain. Perfect time to remove the trees. Um, let's go with some Australian trees instead. More appropriate, I think. Gum trees, eucalyptus trees. Nice and voluminous. Look, I'm in a shampoo commercial over here. There's so much volume. Pop you over there. Yeah. I like the color as well. This like kind of like desaturated green. Ghost uh, gum trees are nice as well. I can see where the ghost comes comes in. Beautiful, more eucalyptus trees. Yeah. Yeah. To me, this is feeling a little bit more appropriate. We'll want to do that for more of these uh, trees too. At least it's a start. At least it's a start. Because again, we're in Australia, right? So like, we gotta get the right trees at the very least for the generic tree spots. Folks are able to take cover. People, folks are able to buy umbrellas as well. Yep, yep, yep. Where are people going? With umbrellas, like, there's no cover to be had by the uh, lion enclosure. So I should probably build something in when I do the upgrade for the space. Build something in so that folks can actually stay here and stay under cover. Um, these lions are, yeah, not having any of this rain. They're just like, nah. They're also not having any uh, any activity. Literally, yeah, literally lying around. Oh my god. <laughs> Just doing nothing. Oh, it's too bad it's raining. It's less clear, but the a little fuzzy end on the tail, by the way, caught my attention the other day. Forgot to mention it, but I just think it's so neat that the, uh, the tail has a little fuzzy tip. Uh, okay, so that's that taken care of. What do we need to do? I need to... I need to try and get these queues longer. Actually, it was pointed out as well in the comments that like the longer the queue is, the longer the queuing portion is, the better these things tend to, you know, run in terms of financially and whatnot. We got a really long one over here, which is great, but not so much anywhere else. And I do wonder if I want to like investigate that a little bit. Like this one's not so bad, actually. You can fit quite a few people in there, so that's okay. But the Australia one might be just a tad too short. Maybe not. Mm, I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? We'll, we'll, I guess we'll experiment with it. The other option, of course, is to put the entrance over here and have the uh, the queue go like up and zigzag and then attach over here or something like that. We could, we, we could totally do that too. Um, that is an option. We'll have to think about it. Money's looking fantastic. 135. I like looked away for, for I, mean, I felt like minutes and we're, we're doing good. Oh, wow. Four, wow. Okay. That's amazing. That's great. Now I do need to also make sure that the lions, like I said earlier, are able to uh, get up top over here. Um, I think it's just like some of these pieces are blocking their their access and whatnot. Should be a relatively easy fix, I suspect. Um, might need to like lower you a little bit or rotate you a little bit, but like we're gonna be reworking this space a fair bit anyway to get the um, the cave and stuff. I'm not too worried about that right now. Though I'm literally adjusting it. As I say, I'm not too worried about it right now. Which is maybe the opposite of what someone would do if they're not worried about something at a moment. Sure, let's leave this be for now at this point, and then we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll tackle it more so we'll we'll tackle it more later. Uh, any other major whoops announcements or anything? We were expecting offspring. We've had offspring over here, more babies, more babies, more babies. Incorrect sex ratio. We've solved that problem just earlier this session. Good stuff. Oh, did you? Don't tell me I missed you working on the scratching post. This close. This close to a line. It's actually been pointed out that maybe I should swap these out for something you can't stick your fingers through. Which is not a bad suggestion. <laughs> not a bad suggestion. Are you? You're pooping. Oh, of course you are. Folks, you know what that tells me? That tells me... This is where we should call it a session. It's it's a complete session. We've had our time lapse. We've had our management. We've had me watching an animal oop, <laughs> take a dump. It's everything. It's everything. It's a, it's a complete Party Elite Planet Zoo franchise mode session. I'm very happy with how things are coming along with this zoo. Um, things have been growing at a great rate, I would say. And I'm, I'm really, personally at least, enjoying... The overall aesthetic of the zoo as well. Um, it seems I do have something for circles, by the way. That was a question that was asked. Was like, do you just like, do you, do you like circles? It's like, I mean, not particularly, but apparently, I, I guess I do. Right? Um, 
I'm really liking how how it's all coming together, and I'm I'm excited to see us make these connections. I'm excited to see the monorail up as well. I think next session we're definitely gonna try and get the monorail up and running, and maybe we add a new animal. Maybe we maybe we add a new animal. Maybe we wrap up some of the things that are going on, uh, you know, here and here. I'll see. I have to think about what's uh, what the, the plan is for the next session. Uh, but at the very least, I think I do want to get the monorail up and running so guests are able to go from you know from major animal to major animal. Um, from major spot to major spot with uh, with little hesitation. Uh, that would be ideal. One thing I want to check, though, just really quickly, really quickly, is habitat cleanliness. We must be... Yeah, the keepers must be able to reach because um, I'm not seeing... Apart from this little bit over here, which is actually on top of the roof. Oh, this little... Oh, my God. Serious? You, you, okay, hold on. Wait. Where are you going to go, buddy? Where are you going to go? Just on the roof, just chilling on the roof. Man, this habitat has worked out perfectly. Oh, can you actually get through there? No, but you can make that jump. I'm so pleased with this habitat. It's like everything I wanted it to be, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the jumps are silly. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty cool. I've had, I've had my fill. <laughs> Folks, I hope you've had your fill as well. This is what we're calling a session. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, like I always say. And as always as well, of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.